Hi, my name is Matthew Maddox. I'd like to speak to you today about some of the frequently asked questions that we receive more than frequently in our office about juvenile law in Connecticut. We get a lot of parents calling us very, very worried about their juvenile age son or daughter who may have had a tap on the shoulder by police, asked to come down to the police station, may have even gotten a summons at that point. The first question is, what happens with records? Are they confidential? They absolutely are. It's mandated by Connecticut law that anything that happens with your son or your daughter who's of juvenile age, by the way, that's 17 or younger in Connecticut, anything that happens is confidential. There are no communications with third parties, nothing with the media, nothing of any sort. So it's all confidential and that's really good news. The second question is, what do we do about that interview? Do we bring our son or daughter down to the police station and have that conversation that the police are asking for? There are a lot of things to balance in answering that question. And you also have to balance, is your son or daughter telling you the whole story? Remember, adolescents keep secrets. They're, your son or daughter is embarrassed at this point. They're concerned about consequences. They're concerned about you being angry with them. And an experienced lawyer working with families, we work with families all the time in our office, that experienced attorney is going to be able to understand how to communicate with your son or daughter, interview them, and make sure that the whole story is being told before you go down to the police. That's the second question. The third question is, what's the difference between juvenile procedure and if there were an adult court? Well, there's a big difference. Procedure is completely different. The policies are different. It is a, oftentimes a longer and more complicated process. And it also in, involves probation from the very beginning. You're gonna have a probation officer involved in your child's life for the duration of that case from the very first moment until the end interviewing your son or daughter, possibly going to your home, possibly taking urine samples, and certainly uh, conducting meetings and checking on how things are going. Juvenile law in Connecticut is a fascinating, challenging, um, and very, very important area of the law that involves multiple considerations. When you are choosing your attorney for your son or daughter, make sure that your attorney has the answers to these frequently asked questions is well versed in juvenile law and has experience specifically in the court where your son and daughter is going to be asked to report.